The Red Ochre is one of the most prestigious First Nations Arts Awards in Australia. Established in 1993 to honour eminent First Nations artists who have made outstanding lifelong contributions to the recognition of First Nations arts in Australia and around the world. The award is made to artists whose contribution to their art form deserves public recognition. It showcases a life and work that acts as inspiration to other First Nations artists. Congratulations to Destiny Deacon. Destiny Deacon is a descendant of the Kuku, Arab and Mer people. An artist, broadcaster and political activist, Deacon creates performative photographs, videos and installations. Partly autobiographical and partly fictitious, her work deals with both historical issues and contemporary Aboriginal life and is informed by personal experience and mass media. Deacon has been exhibiting nationally and internationally since the early 1990s in solo and group shows. Her work is held in the major state galleries of Australia and in many regional corporate and university collections. Unfortunately, Destiny could not join us in person tonight, but she has requested that we deliver the following words on her behalf. I am honoured to accept the wonderful Red Ochre 2022 award from the Australia Council. I've been exhibiting in public galleries for 32 years. It has been a stressful but fun life in the visual arts scene. I've got to work all over Australia and many countries overseas, making many friends along the way and enjoyed seeing a lot of interesting things that money can't buy. I got my first start through my sister Janina Harding, who was the Indigenous Arts Officer for the Melbourne Fringe Festival in 1990. It was a group show with three other Indigenous women and from there things just snowboarded and I haven't stopped exhibiting since. I remember in the early days, some white people saying, oh, that's not art, and the put downs many of us urban indigenous artists got. Not anymore. The world has finally caught up to us. I am especially satisfied meeting indigenous artists over the years who have told me how much influence and courage I gave them to discover their own paths in creating artworks. I would like to recognize the curators who have supported me over the years, such as Hetty Perkins, Brenda Elcroft, Fiona Foley, Dijon Mundine, Natalie King, and Max Delaney. Also, Rosalind and Tony Oxley, who look after me at Rosalind Oxley Nine Gallery. I must thank my family, friends, and dolls that have posed patiently for me over the years. I dedicate this Red Ochre Award to the three major women in my life who are no longer with us, but would be so happy for this achievement. My mother, Eleanor Harding, my girlfriend, Lisa Bella, and my life partner, Virginia Fraser. 